Hello everyone, I'm your host 5 Minute Tutorials where in this video I'm gonna be showing you a new free pixel art software called Pixelorama so it's um, an alternative to a sprite but still not there yet I have an old version of it so I don't know if it updated but you can check it, it out on the official website so today I'm gonna be reviewing it and showing you um, all the features of this program all the features at least that I know okay so um, without any talk let's just start the video okay so um, first of all I'm not that good at pixel art so as you can see by this art demonstrated by Wishstream you can do a lot with this software okay so let me just press new and as we can see we can select a template I'm just gonna do 32 by 32 bit and you can change the color but I don't want that so I'm just gonna press ok okay so now we are here okay so um, if you go to the left here, you can see all the stuffs. Okay, so there are seven tools in total, I think. So um, right now we have a paint tool and an eraser tool. So you can left click for paint and right click for erase. Okay, okay. So um, now you can see that there is a yellow bar and a blue bar. So if I press the yellow bar here, if I right click here, you see the yellow bar changes from here to here. That means the bucket tool is now my primary right tool or right selection tool. If I press right, it's going to turn white by here, okay? If I, press, if I press X, it's going to do the opposite, okay? So now we did all of that. So you know, like, we can do this, like, select stuff and do here and stuff like that. So now... Um, I'm gonna show you some like behind things like some of the features it has so let me just add like a small player let me just add a small character or make one so I'm just gonna make this one pixel X to switch X to switch and then here we can also do this which is like a mirroring tool so yeah like this so yeah this is the thing so now let me just add a hair so I'm not that good at pixel art, so I'm just gonna redo it really quickly. So I'm just gonna press right click, okay, X, right click for the bucket tool. So yeah, here we have a character. We can just customize it a bit more, okay? So right click X and right click bucket tool. So now we have a basic character, but wait, I want an outline, but I'm too lazy to make an outline. So we can just go to image and outline we can change it to any color i want like a greenish color actually yeah a greenish so if i press um okay as you can see we have green outline so yeah that um we another another thing is if we press here we can like select the color of this so now we can do this and fill out the color and also this so now we have a fully outlined character we can also change uh, flip it vertically and horizontally so i'm just gonna do that so now we can invert the colors okay so i don't want that actually so we can also dissolution i have no idea what that actually means but whatever that means it means something <laughs> and then we can also adjust the hue and saturations so you can see we can like change stuff here so it's a pretty cool uh, thing to know okay so I'm just not gonna apply that so yeah these are all the basic tools we can also like select a view um, and then do um, s uh, add color to that specific section you can also disable that okay so yeah all the basic stuff and another thing is the animation so right now we only have one frame so now let's add another frame and as you can see here we have another frame so if I like draw something here and play it see it's now going through the animation so I'm just gonna pause it delete this by pressing the minus and duplicate it and this time I'm gonna make the um, player or our sprite move a bit down so now if I play that see now we have a very basic <laughs> idle animation okay so um let's add another frame okay so this one let's imagine it's walking so let's just shift shift and then here and let's duplicate that shift here 
so if I play this you can see it's going there but I want it to be different so like I want these two these two frames specifically for like walking and these frames for animating so we can do that by pressing here and then we can add a frame tag okay so we're gonna name it idle so frame 1 to frame 2 is gonna be our idle okay so now if I press play you see only frame 1 and frame 2 is our idle mode and we can go here and do the same so add a frame this is called walk so we can do it from 3 to 4 we can also change edit the colors so yeah we can do all of those stuff so now we have specific frames for walk and idle so yeah these are all the basic stuff you can also change the colors from here so yeah i only had time for that i'm sorry if it's too like short but um i hope i see you in another video and bye